I felt really guilty, but at the same time, it's something that needed to be done. So. Yo. Today is a special day because I am doing a Jolly Mukbang. I'm going to be starting off by just uh, letting you know that this is not how I normally eat, but I can eat a lot. My makeup look was inspired by Jollibee. I call it my, I call it my Jollibee look because, you know, red is their theme. And so I wanted to pay a tribute to them with my makeup look as well today. We are doing a Jollibee mukbang and I will be doing a get to know you video as well at the same time. So that includes me answering questions about myself, random questions. And I really hope you enjoy this, just watching me eat and talk about myself today. Let us see what we have here today. I ordered this and this was delivered because, you know, avoid going out as much as possible. So we had it delivered and I don't know what to start with actually. Um, let us try this one first. A box of... Palabok and Jollibee. Fried chicken with gravy on the side. <laughs> I'm not that hungry at the moment, but I will try my best to um, eat all of this as much as possible. And yes, I can eat a lot. And I am not ashamed of it, guys, because I tried to balance out my meals, but this, it's, you know, it's nearly the weekend. I deserve this. It's been a long, hard week. So let us begin. Mm. Mm hmm. I haven't had Jollibee in months. So let's begin with the questions. I'll just introduce myself again. My name is Jasmine Lee's Godito. I'm half British, half Filipino. For those who don't know that already, I just keep digging at this palabok, by the way. I'm just gonna take a big bite out of this first. Mmm. Mm. Okay, I nearly choked on that. That was a mistake, but so good. Such a good mistake. Mmm. Mmm. I'm gonna have a side of this chicken while I'm at it. Okay, this food is just too good. I need to get started on these questions, seriously. Thank you, Jollibee. Thank you. You got that yummy, yum, the yummy, yum, the yummy, yummy. Okay, first question. Do you cry in public? Or do I cry in public? Most certainly. <laughs> I'm not ashamed to say I'm a very emotional person and I do cry anywhere. I've just cried and wailed in a cinema once and that was because I, wa I was watching A Dog's Purpose and you know, anything about animals really hits the spot. I'm just gonna open another one of these. Not that one yet. That is quite big. Just so that you could uh, have a look at what else I'm eating today. We have the Jollibee chicken with spaghetti. I needed to get two pieces of chicken because I love it so much. Or just in case I got a wing part and I don't like that part either. I ended up getting both thigh parts and that is my favorite thing. So double the fun, double the food for me today. The sweet flavor balances off with the salty flavor of the chicken and it's just amazing. You have to try it. Pasta is my favorite dish, by the way. So any form of it or noodles. Mm-hmm. Mm. Which chicken should I eat first? I'm not all about talking with my mouth full, but since this is a get to know you and mukbang, it's kind of hard. So next question, am I married? Yes, I am married. I've been married since February, 2019 to a wonderful man. And um, it has been an amazing journey for this past uh, year already. And I mean, I've learned so much. There are a lot of adjustments. And some people might think I'm still too young to be married, but I saw my future when I met my husband. And so 
Um, it's been great. He's my best friend. And I uh, just want to say thank you for supporting me through this as well. Next question. Am I an introvert or an extrovert? Mmm. That kick is good. I'm leaning towards being an introvert. I enjoy my alone time very much. And um, I do get drained easily when, I, uh, when I'm in social situations. I can socialize, do not worry about that. I'm not awkward or anything. I can talk to people and hold a conversation. But when I do get home, I just feel so drained because I'm an introvert. I, I enjoy my time just being alone, reading a book or I like being around people. I guess so. Maybe I'm an ambi I'm an ambivert. Actually, ambivert. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. Opening the next box because you guys deserve to see what else I'm gonna eat. Here we have the Jolly Bee Burger Steak with mushroom sauce. Um, rice here. No, here and these shanghai rolls i haven't actually had these so let us try this out and it comes with a uh, sweet and sour sauce or shanghai roll sauce so let's try this uh, burger steak and rice this is a lot of carbs guys but i love my my carbs and i forgot about my question um what is my favorite thing about myself, I think my favorite thing about myself is my patience. I always say that I probably have the most patience that anyone can ever have in this world, which probably is an exaggeration, but I am so patient, like I can, I can wait for ages. Um, emotions wise, I do not get angry very easily. But if you do make me angry, then you know you've done something wrong because I am the most patient person in the world. I remember my little sister, Jamie, told me one time that making me angry is like making an angel angry, which is something you don't want to do. Anyway, Jolly Bee Burger. Mmm, it's good. Good meal. Mmm. What is the worst trait about myself? I really think the worst trait about myself is that I am... I think the worst trait about myself is that I care about making people happy all the time. And it, it gets to a point where I, I forget to think about myself. Do not eat this on your first date because it just gets all over your face. Next question is favorite movie. Mm. I have a lot of favorite movies, but the ultimate one that I can watch over and over again is The Notebook. <laughs> I cry every time and I love it. Just full of emotions and it's beautiful. Mm. Let's try this Shanghai thing. Shanghai rolls, if I can open this. Okay, where is my dream vacation or what is my dream vacation? Oh, uh, <laughs> want some? My dream vacation is, um, excuse the hands by the way, I didn't realize I was doing that, but that's the best way to enjoy Jollibee. My dream vacation would be, in all honesty, I want to go to Palawan here in the Philippines. Even though I've, I am Filipino and I've been here for nearly five years already, I haven't seen most of the Philippines and that is something I really want to do. And Palawan looks like heaven. And so that is my dream place to go to. If it weren't in the Philippines, um, I would be going to the US and Europe. So I want to do a Euro tour and as well as a tour, a road trip or whatever tour in the USA because I have never been there and there's so many things I wanna try there. 
I even want to try Jollibee there when I go, just to see what it's like. Yeah, so you're probably wondering why I'm playing with the bun <laughs> continuously. Um, that's because, you know, I'm trying to balance my diet out, so by removing one bun, uh, it cuts down on the carbs. Not that, uh, you know, I'm not eating that many carbs here, you know, with the spaghetti. Let me just finish this off with the last piece of hot dog. Mm. Do you have siblings? This is a great question because I have five wonderful sisters. Yes, you heard that right. Five sisters. There are no brothers and they are around the world at the moment. Shout out to my eldest sister, Jodi, who's in the UK. And um, to my sister, Ate Millet, Ate Millet in um, Japan. And then I have Ate Sinri, who's in Hong Kong. Ate Shali, who's in Germany. And then Jamie, who's here with me in the Philippines. I am the second youngest sister. Wow. And um, it's great. We're all so very close. And one day I will have him on uh, my vlogs here. And it's just going to be so much fun. There's very lively people. The best um, recent memory was at my wedding because we were all there and they were my bridesmaids. Um, they are my best friends in life as well. Um, I love them to death and I don't know what I would do actually. It, I can't imagine not having them as my sisters. I miss you guys. I'm eating a load of Jollibee for you. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you what I was eating. This is the Jollibee bacon, bacon cheesy yum burger. So it's, um, it's wonderful. It has the meat patty. Have you guys ever had bacon stuck down your throat while it's still halfway up your mouth? Wow, that just happened to me. Anyway, I, I probably choked like five times already. Um, it has like a dressing as well. And I thought it had mushrooms, but I guess not. But yeah, it's kind of sweet and it balances out with the, the savory, salty bacon and burger meat. Well, mmm. Yeah. <laughs> Can somebody help me? I mean, I keep choking on the bacon and everything, all the noodles. I'm too excited. How long would I last in a zombie apocalypse? I think I would last quite a while because I do love zombie movies. I used to have an obsession with zombies. Um, I had a bowler ban one of, back in those emo days, in my emo days, um, that said, I heart zombies. And I think I ordered that on Amazon or something. But yeah, yeah, I think I could survive. I've watched enough movies. Yeah, like that would, you know, really help me come up with strategies to z survive the zombie apocalypse. I'm pretty athletic. I've gone firing before at a firing range, so if I have a gun in my hand, I could probably use it. Hi. Hello. Hello. I completely neglected my palabra. This is one of the best parts. But you know what they say, save the best for last. Next question is, do I sing or dance in the car? Yes, I sing at the top of my lungs in my car like I am, uh, you know, on stage or at my own concert. And I bet people have seen me in the car like silently going like. Because I put my heart into it. That's the only time I can sing like that because I do not sing in front of people that very, uh, that much. Yeah. I'm dancing not as much unless I'm with other people then I'll dance with them but singing yes and to me in the car I have the most amazing voice but I know I don't really in real life next question is great am I hungry 24 7 
Yeah. I wouldn't say 24 seven, but I am hungry a lot of the time, especially when I exercise. I mean, I try to control myself and not have any midnight snacks or anything. So after dinner, I really make sure not to eat anymore. But um, if it's the weekend, I go all out most of the time. But during this pandemic, I do admit I have gained a little weight and that's because I've been eating more and I don't move around as much anymore. I, you know, I work at home. So I'm mostly sitting down all the time or lying down when I go to bed after that. What can I do but eat? Apart from romantic love, when did I last tell someone that I love them? What did they mean to me? I, I, of course, I really do say I love you to my parents and my family members every time I see them and I leave or I'm saying goodnight to them. I do say I love them. I mean it all the time. I love my family so much. I don't know what I would do without them. But the last time I actually told someone that I really love them out of, not out of the blue, but because of the situation, uh, was, it's not a someone, it's my dog, Aji. She is, she was 16 years old. She's one of the first dogs that we really got to take care of and loved so much. And I told her that I loved her because um, she got sick. So um, her illness came quickly and you could see that she could, she was fighting through it. So, I mean, when you see something like that, it just makes you want her to rest really because you see her fighting hard and she wants to hold on, you can see that. She wanted to hold on as much as she could, but it really, it, it got really bad. And I'm so sorry about this. Um, I told Joe I was emotional. So we had to make a decision about, um, about uh, putting her to sleep because it just, it, it wasn't good anymore on the day that we had to do that and even days prior to that we would all go and tell her how much we loved her she was blind and deaf so of course she couldn't hear what we were saying but we were there telling her that we loved her <laughs> i'm like picking out the chicken right now because <laughs> anyway we told her that we loved her so much and that's what i did silently i told her by myself that I loved her so much and that like I felt really guilty but at the same time it's something that needed to be done so and uh, I'm glad she's resting in peace so sorry about that this happens a lot <laughs> next question what does my ideal life look like I don't have to think about that question really hard because I'm not saying this just for, you know, just to look good. My ideal life is what I'm living right now. I'm being totally honest about that. I have a great job. I am doing what I love. I record videos. I um, have a wonderful family. I got married to a, an amazing man. And this is the ideal life I'm living. I get to travel once in a while i'm earning so that's fine i'm really happy with the life i have right now what has been your biggest challenge in life and how did you overcome it life is full of challenges i go through challenges every single day but the biggest challenge in my life that i had to overcome and that went on for a longer period of time was um being bullied. Yes, I was bullied for a really long time actually, starting from um, the second grade. Actually, no, sorry, even more, even earlier than that. Um, I was bullied in kindergarten. I've been punched in the stomach before. Then moving up to elementary school, I was bossed around and um, told what to do. I was told to not socialize with other people and that that person was my only should be my only friend and um 
moving up to middle school and into middle school I had so-called friends that uh, would tell me to bring their belongings to their lockers and store it away for them while they're off, you know, buying food or something. And I was pushed around a lot actually, uh, probably because I was too nice, uh, taken advantage of, and I was just so sick of it. So how I overcame that was one day, it just took one day to suddenly realize, no, I am going to stand up for myself. I'm not going to be bullied anymore, be my own self. I'm not gonna let other people tell me how to live my life. Now I'm my own self, I don't get bullied anymore. Hmm. You know, you don't realize how full you are when you're talking. Chicken skin and gravy, saving the best for last. Everything was so good. Oh. I thought I was done. <laughs> um, I have a freaking peach mango pie in my head for dessert, but there's always room for dessert, guys. Anyway, that is the end of getting to know me during this Jollibee mukbang. And I really hope you enjoyed this session because I did, and I'm definitely going on a diet after this. So to top it all off and end things on a sweeter, lighter note, I'm going to enjoy this peach mango pie. And if you haven't already, like I always say, If you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to be notified, don't forget to hit that bell button down below. And I will see you guys again in my next video. So have a great weekend or a great week whenever this is posted. Thanks again for all your support.